and welcome back to Organizopedia. So in this video, I will show you how we baby proofed our house and that too in a very teeny tiny budget. I will be sharing some baby proofing products and some awesome DIYs for the same. Expert, but these are my experiences which I have learned with my daughter. So here are some hacks and tricks on how to baby proof your house. I have been asked by lots of new mommies that when to get started. So make sure to get started on this tricky business before your baby actually starts moving. And this will make your work whole lot easier. So baby proofing is quite easy by just making small changes in your home. Just keep things out of your children's reach and you are good to go. You can very easily find these kind of door stoppers online. All the links are in the description box so please go and check it out. Or you can even make your own DIY door stopper. So for this we need a cloth, a pair of scissors and some elastic. So first take your cloth, just fold it in half and then again fold it in half, like so. And then uh, just mark a point and with the help of a scissor, make holes. So now we have to pass this elastic band through one of the holes. Just flip the cloth and pass the elastic band to the other hole. Flip the cloth and pass it to the third hole. Again, at last, flip the cloth and pass it to the last hole. Then make a tight knot, like so. So this is how it looks. So now put the elastic band across both the knobs of the door, like so. So in this way your kid will never lock himself or herself inside the door. So it's little tricky for babies, just a single push and you can open your drawers. And it's so very easy to close it, just Wash it a little bit and you're good to go. And the kind of adhesive used in this particular product is of very high quality. If you have some pieces of furniture in your home with sharp edges and corners, you can easily cover these with the help of these kind of corner and edge cushions for extra protection. There are different systems you can use to secure the cabinet doors. So here you can see these locks have a specialized closure mechanism which can actually avoid a lot of accidents. So here's a quick DIY for a lock which I have just shown you earlier. Just take two command hooks, place them facing each other, then take a strong elastic band and just cover them like so. It's so very easy to open it and at the same time it's so very easy to close it back. So the elastic band here I have used as a friendship band. If your cupboard have such kind of handles then it's so very easy to lock them. You can get these kind of sliding locks online very easily. Just a single push, slide it up and your doors are locked. Just a quick DIY, if you have old furniture with such kind of locks with very narrow opening then you can use these kind of bun sticks or the jura sticks. I will recommend you to get these kind of wooden jura sticks uh, because they fit so very well in these kind of narrow latches. So the metal and the plastic one they don't fit properly in these kind of latches but this wooden one works great. So the electrical safety is the most important thing because the small babies they just keep on touching that switchboard which is quite dangerous for them. So what you can do is you can very easily find these kind of electrical outlet covers. Just cover your outlet with the help of this cover and you're good to go. It's so very firm and hard that your baby cannot easily take it out from the outlet. <laughs> Or you can even use these kind of plugs, just get them from the electrical shop, cover it with the help of a washi tape to make it look more beautiful and just plug it into the electrical outlet and you're good to go. 
You can even use washi tape and just cover the outlets with the help of this tape. You can cover your extension board or the wire strips with the help of these kind of extension board covers. So just place your power strip in these kind of extension cover and you're good to go. Which is very easy to find them online or you can even make your own DIY extension board cover with the help of a shoe box. So for this we need a shoe box. Just mark a point where you need to make a slit. So like this I have already made this slit with the help of a scissor. So in the same way we have to make a slit on the lid as well. So this is how I taped it and this is how it looks. I just kept this box behind my mother's TV unit and just kept all the power strips, extension boards, everything inside this box. Keep all your medicines out of your children's reach. Keep them at a certain height so that your children cannot reach there or you can even make a medicine cabinet and just lock it so that your baby cannot open it. So this is all about today's video and I really hope you guys find it useful. If so, then please do subscribe to my channel for more such future videos and happy baby proofing. Bye bye.